Recently, Google released a new tool is called the Backup and Sync. It is the second generation Google Drive. The difference between Google Drive and this Backup and Sync tool is this one has a feature that will automatically backup so some folders from your computer. It is a backup utility. On this video, we will going to understand how exactly the backup works. Does it overwrite the files instantly or not and we're just going to get to know to its settings so let's go ahead and download it I've already done that once you install it it will automatically remove Google Drive client but it will not remove your Google Drive folder so all your files are going to be in place it's just that old Google Drive will be gone let's get started I'm going to sign in and let's click got it and here we're going to see three folders that it chose automatically to back up if you don't like them you can uncheck them if you want more you can click choose folder and add more folders to be backed up below you, you will see two options original or high quality if you choose original quality all the all your photos will be backed up and they will take up space if you want to get unlimited storage choose high quality what this does is if you have let's say 20 megapixel photo Google will automatically reduce its size to 16 megapixel and in exchange it will give you unlimited storage I think this is a great deal and below let's click on photo settings to view more settings on the website make sure it says high quality if you want free storage and on the below you will see this setup I personally don't want my GPS locations to be included in photos but if you go to let's say Paris a year later you want to search all your Paris photos you can search based on your geolocations if you like that leave it enabled if you if you don't like that flip this blue so it will remove the GPS go ahead and check this Google Drive so your drive photos will be visible in photos library we're done here let's go ahead and close this and let's go ahead and click this upload photos and videos to Google photos then click next got it and it is verifying that your folder is still named Google Drive click start it will refresh the screen and open your Google Drive mine is empty but if you if you had any files prior to this you should still have them alright now next step let's click and see what is it, what is doing not now it is currently synchronizing some items I have an experimental document on a desktop which is currently being synced it has a blue icon now is green which means it's backed up now you might be wondering it's backed up so where is it I don't see it in my Google Drive you're not going to see your automatic backups in the Google Drive folder they will be visible only on the web client so go to drive.google.com and on the left side you see my drive which is the same as your local Google Drive below this you see computers this is where automatic backups are let's go ahead and open desktop and you should see the documents.txt this is the same document that you see on the desktop now what happens if I first of all I'm going to copy it I'm going to copy it. let's say you we have a new file it is instantly backing up if you notice it has the blue icon and it says uh, document copy synced if so it was instant right here documents copy documents.txt we have both files now so it was instant let's say I am working on this document and I no longer need it I'm going to delete it from my computer the sync is working it is doing something synchronizing something it will automatically ask you if you want to um, remove the desktop from Google Drive you moved the uh, document.txt to trash okay so when you remove a file from a local computer 
Google Drive thinks that you may no longer need it. So in order to prevent cluttering, it asks if you want to automatically remove from the cloud as well. So I'm going to click remove. And as you noticed, it also removed the document file from the cloud. This is a great thing to prevent unwanted uh, cluttering in future. Now let's say I have my document. I'm going to make another copy, all right? So let's say 111, the document named 111. It is instantly synchronizing. And I should have my document here. Now let's say I am doing a spring cleaning of my files and I'm doing I'm going to delete this from the web client not the desktop but the web client right click and remove let's see what he, what happens now it will again automatically asks asks if you want to remove it from other devices too there is a red X which means it is no longer in the cloud if I click remove it will also remove it from my desktop click remove and it's gone alright now let's do another experiment let's rename this to a doc document alright we have a document the document has some good information in it and by the way notice that it is instantly synchronizing the new name we should have a new name here now let's say I make made an error error and I save it I, let's say I deleted some important information I saved the file and it instantly synchronized it okay and now when I open open a document it has the error information in it so I do not have I don't have any other copies of this right the, so what happens is the data lost if it's lost that means it's not a good backup so what Google did is it gave you a file history feature if I right click on the file go to manage versions I will have the different versions of the same file okay let's click this one and download it will download the older version and if we open oh this is the I just downloaded the same one okay so this is the old version I'm gonna download the old version download and open it there is no error in this document this is the older version so in some ways it acts like the file history feature in Windows computers which is a very nice feature let's go ahead and close this and it's pretty simple straightforward I don't think there is much left to cover but let's go ahead and click on the client it shows you the history of everything that was synced you also have a nice reminder of how much space you have and a one click uh, button that opens uh, Google Drive client on the website all right so let's right click this time and then go to settings preferences if you ever change your mind you can add or remove folders or change the quality on the left side Google Drive there is nothing to see here again settings on the left side and show warning when I remove items from a shared folder this is the feature that is responsible for showing the warning if you want to remove the file from the cloud or local uh, local machines if you want it to be removed or not removed if you don't want to, want it to bother you just go ahead and uncheck this but I highly recommend keeping this so that way you will not accidentally uh, remove something or risk cluttering your inboxing future that is pretty much it ladies and gentlemen I highly recommend this tool it is a lot more reliable than the Google Drive client thanks for watching if you like this video press the thumbs up button and share it thank you